Soon the cubs must leave their mother, and they are now hunting with her every day. Learning to catch their own food is now a priority. It's not going to be easy. They must get within 20 yards of the deer before making their final attack, and the deer are alert. Success depends on patience and cunning. Foot stamping and upright tail show that the deer are aware of the tiger. The male cub is very determined. As yet, they don't know which direction he's coming from. Mother keeps a close eye. If he makes a wrong move, she will step in. Seeing her chance, the big tigress begins her final stalk. But the youngster has blown it. He's in too much of a hurry. He couldn't wait. There's nothing his mother can do now. But the cub must learn fast. Soon he will be on his own. He doesn't seem to understand quite how the deer got away. Soon she will give up feeding them and the cubs will find their own way or not survive. The females may stay quite near their mother's territory, but the young male will eventually move far away from here. In 18 months' time, she will have another litter to raise. Both females have proven to be skilled mothers. Two thriving families so close to one another is remarkable, not only because of their mother's skill, but evidence too of a strong protective male. He has probably sired all six cubs. Well, this is by far the most difficult expedition I've ever had. I understood just how hostile the Sundarbans could be to human beings. Perhaps that's made them the most vital sanctuary on Earth, a refuge for the most thriving population of tigers on the planet maybe even the last. When I left the Sundarbans this time, I had a stronger attachment to this place than I've ever felt anywhere else, and especially to the tigers. There is still so much to learn about these tigers here that I'm sure I'll be back. The Bangladeshi Sundarbans, an alien world for humans, the perfect haven for the most successful tiger population in the world. 